we're going to take a look at the Curity CLI or the security shell that we can use to view the configuration of a running system as well as configure a system. So in, an, in a Curity installation within the bin directory that I'm in here, we have the Curity shell in the ID SH. Running that gets me into the shell in operational mode, which is essentially a read-only mode where we can view the configuration of this system. This is noted by the greater than symbol here in the, in the terminal. We can then enter configuration mode here by entering configure. And now in configuration mode, we see that we have the percent sign here in the, in the shell. Um, this is where we can now make edits to the running configuration of the system. This is a Juniper style CLI. So a lot of the navigation will be probably be familiar to many. Uh, one example is we can hit the tab key, for example, to get the possible options that we can execute at this point. We'll start with looking at the show command here. So if I just type show here, we now get the entire configuration of this system. So this is going to be a lot of information. So there's a way we can hone in on a smaller subset of the configuration, for example, by running show. If I hit tab, we can now see that we can take a look at only different subsets of the configuration. So if we, for example, do environments, environment here, it will show us, for example, the base URL in here. The entire configuration structure is essentially like a tree structure. So we can navigate this tree structure as well. And I can enter this environment, environment branch of the tree by using the edit command. So if we run edit environments, environment, now I'm actually in this part of the configuration tree. And if I run show here, we can now see only the part of uh, this configuration, which is the same that we had before. Another command that's used here, obviously, uh, frequently is the edit command. So we can edit a configuration by using the edit command. So if we, for example, want to change the base URL in here, we can do edit base URL, enter um, a different URL in here, Now, within the configuration, we've changed this, but the, the runtime part has not changed. So similar or exactly the same to how the Curity web UI works. It's a transactions based configuration. So we have to commit this change into the system in order for it to take effect within the runtime environment. And one way to look at this is actually to use the compare command. Um, and if I do only compare, we see that we can compare with um, two configuration subtrees or another configuration file, but I'm going to compare it with the running uh, configuration, the configuration that's actually running on this system. Another handy thing here, very common in, in shells, is that you can do arrow up to get the last command. So if I hit arrow up, it's going to uh, toggle through previous commands, right? But we want to compare this with the running configuration. And here we can see that it's noting us with a minus sign here that this is the configuration that is in the running and this is the change that we've made um, that's going to replace this. Uh, and in order to, to change that, we can simply run the commit command and that will commit the changes to the system. If we now run show here, we can see that the base uh, URL has been uh, changed. Now suppose I actually made a mistake by doing this and I want the previous base URL to, to actually be the one that I want to use. So I want to roll back to my previous configuration. Then we can actually use the rollback command. So there's a, a rollback command where we can 
roll back to any previous configuration that has been committed to the system. Roll back to zero is the previous, so zero is always the, the previous configuration and then it iterates back in time. So I can do a rollback zero, which will execute a rollback. And if we now do a show, we're back at the root of the, of the configuration tree. Um, so we can now do a show environments environment. And we can see that the base URL here is back to the local host one that I changed from earlier. So this was a high level overview introduction to the Curity CLI. Uh, we will have additional recordings describing further uh, backup and restore of configurations and working uh, more with configurations in general using the CLI. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to reach out uh, at info at curity.io.